If you look at the achievement of the United States, I think the most dramatic example of it is in the field of agriculture. If you go back to the founding of this country in 1776, something like 80 to 90 percent of the people were on farms. It took eight to nine people working full time, 12, 16 hours a day to feed themselves and their families and perhaps one other person. Today, fewer than 5% of the American people are on farms. One person today can feed himself and his family and 19 other and their families and also have a great deal left to export abroad. That is really, in a nutshell, the miracle of America. In the modern idiom, if you say, what made that possible, the first tendency of somebody would be to say, well, it must have been that there was a pretty smart and all-sighted government that was directing people what to do, that organized people's resources. But you and I know that the p countries in the world where they have that kind of a government organizing their agriculture still have 40 to 50 percent of the people on farms and indeed are relying on us to feed them. And you know, and I know, that certainly for the first 150 and more years of this country's existence, government played a negligible role in this process. After all, it was not until 1928, total government spending in this country never exceeded 10 percent of the national income. Total federal government spending never exceeded 3% of the national income, and most of that, of course, was for the Army and Navy. Of course, government did play an important role in providing a framework within which individuals could pursue their own values and their own interests. It even contributed in, small, in some ways to agriculture in particular through things like extension service and the land-grant colleges. But surely the major source of that enormous achievement was simply the fact that people were free to pursue their own interests in their own ways without interference from government. 